In this figure, a smaller semicircle, is inscribed in a bigger semicircle. A F, is tangent to the smaller semicircle at point E. A B, is equal to 4 units. C D, is equal to 9 units. A E, is equal to 8 units. And E F, is equal to X. Find the value of X. Note that. This diagram, is not drawn to scale. Before we proceed, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, feel free to pause the video and give it a try, and tell us your answer in the comment section. To solve this problem, first let's O, be the center of the smaller semicircle, and let lowercase r, be the radius. Next, let's draw a straight line from O, to E. Since O E, is also the radius of the semicircle, it will also be lowercase r. Let's recall the circle theorem of tangent and radius. It states that any tangent to a circle is perpendicular to the radius at the point of contact. From this theorem, it follows that angle AEO is equal to 90 degrees. Next, let's join F and D with a straight line. From the circle theorem of angle in a semicircle, it states that the angle in a semicircle is right angle, that is 90 degrees. From this theorem, it follows that angle AFD is equal to 90 degrees. Going further, let's focus on triangle AEO. Triangle AEO is a right triangle. From Pythagoras' theorem, AO squared is equal to AE squared plus EO squared. AO is equal to 4 plus R. AE is equal to 8. And EO is equal to R. Substituting these values in the formula will give us 4 plus R squared is equal to 8 squared plus R squared. Simplifying this equation will give us 16 plus 8 R plus r squared, is equal to 64, plus r squared. Collecting like terms will give us, 8r, plus r squared, minus r squared, is equal to 64, minus 16. r squared, minus r squared, is equal to 0. And 64, minus 16, is equal to 48. So, we are left with, 8r is equal to 48. Dividing through by 8 will give us r is equal to 6. Also, in triangle AEO, if we call this angle alpha, then the remaining angle of this triangle will be 90 degrees minus alpha. Reason The sum of angles in a triangle is 180 degrees. Next, let's consider triangle AFD. Triangle AFD is also a right triangle. Notice that triangle AFD is sharing the same angle with triangle AEO, which we have taken as alpha. So, the remaining angle of this triangle will be 90 degrees minus alpha. Reason The sum of angles in a triangle is 180 degrees. Comparing triangle AEO and triangle AFD. Observe that angle EAD is equal to angle FAD. Angle AOE is equal to angle ADF. And angle OEA is equal to angle DFA. This shows that triangle AEO is similar to triangle AFD. And the proportionality of their corresponding sides is AE over AF is equal to AO over AD. AE is equal to 8. AF is equal to 8 plus X. AO is equal to 4 plus R which is equal to 
4 plus 6, and 4 plus 6, is equal to 10. And AD, is equal to 4 plus R, plus R, plus 9, which is equal to, 4 plus 6, plus 6, plus 9. And this will give us 25. Substituting these values in the above equation will give us, 8, over 8 plus X, is equal to 10, over 25. By cross multiplication, we will have, 8 plus X, is equal to 8, times 25, over 10. 8 times 25, is 200. So, we have, 8 plus X, is equal to 200, over 10. 200, divided by 10, is 20. And we are left with, 8 plus X, is equal to 20. Collecting like terms will give us, X, is equal to 20, minus 8. Which is equal to 12. Hence, X is equal to 12 units. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe for more.